and brought yourself forth. Let us as Kenyans follow the example of these two wonderful, wonderful Kenyans. And I think on that note, I would like, first you, Brenda, you're no longer number one, now we can call you Brenda. <laughs> and uh, my friend Brian, please tell Kenyans of your experience. Brenda. Okay, so um, to everyone listening to this, uh, I first went to the US on December 19th. Uh, so I landed in Texas and then when I finished my stay there, I took a flight from uh, Cleveland in Ohio. Then I went to Chicago and I had a 10 over layover there where I had some interactions with certain people and then from there I took a flight to London. So from London is when uh, I may, I think I may have contracted the virus in London or on the plane back to Nairobi. So after landing in the country, uh, I had a cough three days into landing in the country. So when I suspected they might have been something, as a responsible Kenyan citizen and a patriotic Kenyan, I decided to watch the response of my body for one day. And then the next day, that is when I presented myself to Mbagadi Hospital because I saw on the... I, when I was in the U.S., I had seen something about Mbagadi Hospital having an isolation center. That's why I went to Mbagadi. So I think that was very useful, the information I saw, because at least it helped me know where to start. So Mbagadi, I would like to thank the staff that I met them, that I met there, because they took me seriously and they gave me the mask. Immediately I mentioned that I had gone abroad and I was having a cough, and then they took it seriously. So I went into quarantine. For the past 23 days, I have been in quarantine uh, and I've been receiving proper treatment. And I would like to be very thankful to Kenyatta National Hospital and the nurses. It was not an easy thing to do, I know, because the nurses were also, I think they were also, you know, under some pressure because it's the first patient they have not seen this before but they were really nice they were very supportive the doctors as well and the cleaners who came to clean my room they used to talk to me a lot because sometimes i was very emotional but i would like to assure everyone all the kenyans that this is something that can be managed it's treatable and sometimes you may show very very mild symptoms just a cough and a headache but when you see that you're supposed uh, you know, as a responsible Kenyan citizen, you should uh, contact the authorities and tell them, I'm not feeling well, this is how I'm feeling, and be, you know, uh, come forward and be confident because they're going to treat you and they're going to do everything for you. So um, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Brian. Yes, um, for me, um, I got the virus from contact with uh, Brenda over here. <laughs> uh, so she imported it and then I think uh, I got it from uh, the community transmission, what the ministry is calling that. So um, immediately, uh, Brenda's results came back. Um, I'd like to thank the government, your government, because they reacted very fast. They came for me wherever I was. Um, they took me to a government facility and uh, I was tested and uh, immediately the results came back as positive. Uh, the government, your government again, uh, embarked on treating me for the past two weeks or so. Uh, and uh, as a result of that treatment, uh, I've recovered. I'm feeling much, much better now, um, like I was before. So, yeah. That's all I have to say, really. Uh, what I'd like to tell other Kenyans, um, okay, I was speaking to an aunt of mine from up country yesterday, and she was telling me the fact that uh, uh, her niece, uh, her nephew, me, um, had the coronavirus, as at least she can believe that it's something real and that it's in Kenya, because so many people up country especially do not believe that corona is real, but... Uh, I want to tell them that it's something that's in Kenya right now and they have to take the necessary precautions. 
and just follow what the government is telling them at all times. Yes, thank you.